Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today I'm very excited because I'm finishing off the Sermon on the Mount, which I've been blogging on for more than a year. And Matthew chapter 7, verses 28 to 29 says this. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. OK, so we have this little window in the response of the crowds. Notice it's the crowds. The intro to the Sermon on the Mount talked about Jesus' disciples coming to him up the mountain, but somewhere along the way, the crowds have been magnetically drawn in and they're hanging on his words. And what strikes them about his teaching is its authority, that his co the content of what he's saying is imbued with a sense of authority, which sets them apart from other teachers of the law they've experienced. What is this authority? Well, I think we could look at four things that might uh, have given Jesus' message this authority that drove it home. Firstly, truth. If you watch a television uh, interview or panel show and they bring in an authority on a topic they bring in somebody who's in the know who's read the research who's been involved in the field and just knows what's true about that topic uh, and they're an authority on it Jesus uh, as the one who was present in and before creation uh, the creative word by which everything is spoken to being and held together is the person in the know par excellence and so Jesus words uh, as he spoke to the crowd will have resonated with that very creative word by which the mountain on which they stood had been called into existence and the people would have sensed that. These words are true. Secondly, Jesus spoke from a place of commission. In Matthew chapter 3 you can read about his baptism and how he had the strong Holy Spirit sense of, of being called into his ministry and that gave authority to his mission and ministry. Thirdly, Jesus spoke from authority place of authenticity and integrity he practiced what he preached he lived it out and that set him apart from the, the the hypocrisy of the pharisees and the teachers of the law whose message and its power was gutted by the hypocrisy uh, and fourthly he spoke from a place of experience you know having lived this stuff out he knew that it worked and he could share that with people in confidence these four things contribute to authority and i think as disciples of jesus we need to cultivate those things in our lives to live uh, in alignment with the truth of Jesus' teachings, to be aware of our sense of commission. You can read the Great Commission in Matthew 28, where Jesus says, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me, therefore go. Uh, so we go in that authority in commission. Thirdly, we need to be a people of authenticity and integrity, practice what we preach. Otherwise, it will ring false in the ears of the people we seek to minister and witness to and teach. And fourthly, as we grow in experience of living it out, we'll grow in confidence that this stuff is real and works out. It's not just an idealism, a pie in the sky teaching. It actually works in the nitty gritty everyday reality of life. So let's be a people who with authority proclaim the way of Christ and live as his disciples in the world.